these are the muscles of the chest and the uh, neck area. So the best way to talk about this is um, uh, these are the muscles of respiration. So in the respiration, you have two parts. Uh, one is inhalation and the other one is expiration. Inhalation, the air goes inside the uh, chest. Uh, oxygen goes inside. You breathe in and in expiration, you breathe out. So carbon dioxide is leaving the body. Uh, so the, um, the most important, one of the most important muscles uh, for uh, uh, inspiration is called external intercostal. And if you can look at it, Look at the direction, it's moving downward and inward, down and in. Okay, so this is one of the most important muscles of inspiration. Another muscle that is activated during exercise or the disease, these are called scaling muscles. So there is three of them, and that can cause elevation of the ribs. And this is the muscle that I talked about it in the beginning of the lecture as well. Uh, so uh, these two are for in inspiration and there are some muscles that are for expiration, okay? So this one is called internal intercostal. Uh, so look at the direction, it's moving down and out. Down and out, okay? Uh, so this is the uh, uh, internal intercostal, so same muscles from inside you can see. Uh, another muscle is called transversus thoracis, this is also muscles of expiration and this is called innermost so that is the deepest layer of the chest innermost intercostal and the lower part these muscles are called subcostal so these are the muscles of um, expiration or breathing out uh, so these are the muscles of the abdomen here uh, if you look at it so the, the one is called external oblique uh, which is the same direction as the external intercostal, so going downward and inward. And it, um, uh, finally, this, uh, this is a fascia here in this area, um, so it goes in this area. And uh, uh, deeper to that, you have the rectus abdominis. This is the rectus abdominis. These are called tendinous in inscriptions. And uh, this is the six-pack muscle. Uh, which I have, um, okay. Uh, so, um, and lateral to, to that, you have uh, uh, another muscle here. This is the internal oblique muscle, okay. Um, so the function of these muscles are a little bit different. Um, so external oblique, uh, rectus abdominis, and uh, internal uh, oblique, they all cause depression of the uh, ribs, it can cause flexion of the spine and also compression of the um, abdomen. Uh, so all three of them together. So, um, But um, there is also called another muscle is called transversus abdominis and that only cause compression. Um, so it does not cause depression of the uh, ribs or flexion of the spine. It has only one function. Uh, if you cut the abdomen in this area, you can see the rectus abdominis. They are connected in the middle by linea alba, or just like alba, linea alba. And here you have the, the three different muscles. You have the external oblique, and then you have the, the internal oblique, and you have the transversus abdominis. Okay, so these three muscles are there. And these are the muscles of the erector spinae muscles. These are the, these muscles. And um, uh, as I said before, I have the six pack muscle, but it is covered by one pack of fat. Just don't want anybody to become jealous. That's why I, I put a little bit of fat on top of that. Uh, okay, so the important muscle here, this is the muscle. So this is the diaphragm. This is the primary muscles of inspiration so when you breathe in this muscles contract and the uh, size of the thoracic cavity increase when the size of the thoracic cavity increase um, the pressure inside the thoracic cavity become negative the pressure from outside is positive so air goes inside the thoracic cavity and then oxygen goes there so uh, if this muscle is paralyzed the person cannot uh, survive so 
very important muscles. And also you can see other muscles that we talked about it. Um, so these are the muscles of the abdomen and the chest wall and the back. You can see it uh, around this area. 